He got this character Van Jones on CNN afterwards saying, this is the rise of an American demagogue who's going to live 50 years longer than Trump. This is dangerous. I am shaking. That's what he says. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Van Jones, what you got to say about that? Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you can get notification anytime I go live or make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, first video back from being at AmpFest. Incredible, incredible event. I, I actually interviewed Vivek Ramaswamy at the event at my booth. But I want to play this clip of Vivek Ramaswamy at AmpFest and him dogging out Van Jones. And Van Jones has to be the cringiest, weakest, beta, soy milk drinking dude I've ever seen in my life. I can't believe this man is married and have a wife or kids or something because this dude has no capacity to, for masculinity. Now, I don't know if he's different in person, but on television, this dude is the most emasculated man that I've seen on the news. Literally, when Donald Trump got elected, he cried. This is a... A, a, a white lash and my kids is a bro grow a pair. You always crying on TV. Your life ain't in danger. You ain't you ain't doing nothing gangster. You talking about, you somebody got elected that you in like you on TV crying. And now Vivek Ramaswamy got to spank you. This video is brought to you by Private Internet Access VPN. Ladies and gentlemen, when you're going to websites and you're downloading apps, I want you to be very clear about this. You're sending your information out in the open. People are taking your data and they're selling it for advertisement purposes. This is why I use a VPN. And it, listen to this. Private Internet Access VPN is trustworthy. One of the most trustworthy VPNs, and they've proven it in court time after time. They do not log your information. Others will tell you something and then do something different on the back end. Listen, whether you're accessing the internet Wi-Fi at a coffee shop, at your mama house, at your house, at your baby daddy house, it don't matter where you're accessing the data. You are at risk of your data being stolen. So the VPN at Private Internet Access VPN, they protect you from these hackers and potential people who want to take your content and sell it for a profit to advertisers. Also, Private Internet Access helps boost the speed of your internet when you're streaming, helps download the apps that you like, the ones that are your favorite, your favorite uh, video platforms, all of that is extra added bonus when using the VPN. And also, if you want to look at stuff in another country, you can do that with Private Internet Access VPN. It allows you to have one access points on unlimited devices. Watching Netflix without a PIA is like getting dozens of gifts for Christmas but in, and only being able to open one present. You see what kind of sense that makes? Private Internet Access gives you 83% off and that's just $2.03 a month plus four months free. All you got to do is go to piavpn.com forward slash Officer Tatum. That's piavpn.com forward slash Officer Tatum. Smug, condescending way that he just spews this poison out is very, very dangerous because he won't stop Trump, but he's gonna outlive Trump by about 50 years. And you're watching the rise of an American demagogue. Look at this that beat. That is a very, very despicable person. Yeah. And I, I'm, I literally, I, I, was, I was shaking listening to him talk because a lot of people don't know that is one step away from Nazi propaganda coming out. They always throwing that Nazi propaganda bull crap around. Can you you know how stupid you got to be to think that the Republican Party is anywhere near Nazi Germany? Do you, you you know how stupid you got to be to think anybody? I mean, the Democrats are all probably going to hell, but I don't think that they are Nazis to, to perpetuate the genocide of a group of people. You, what are y'all even talking about? Republican, the Republican Party, Vivek Ramaswamy, and everybody else, none of them are talking about racial division and none of this foolery that Democrats are doing. Democrats are the ones that are saying white people are the enemy of the people. Gen that they're occupying native land. You guys are pushing propaganda for people to hate white people and for white people to hate themselves. And then y'all the main ones that won't say nothing about these fools out here flying Palestinian flags supporting Hamas. But we are Hitler-esque. Come on, man.
Come on, play Roto Film. We demand a government that tells us the truth again in this country. That's what we require. We can handle the truth. That's what it means to be a citizen of this country. <laughs> So I say that on that last debate stage to a bunch of Republicans that are shaking in their boots. These are the things you're not supposed to say in the Republican Party even today. And then you get the mainstream media. You got this character Van Jones on CNN afterwards saying, this is the rise of an American demagogue who's going to live 50 years longer than Trump. This is dangerous. I am shaking. That's what he says. <laughs> Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> At a certain point, <laughs> just shut the f*** up. <laughs> Van Jones at CNN. <laughs> We're done with it. I can't believe you said it, though. That's what let me just say. I didn't think that Vivek Ramaswamy would say a cuss word, and I definitely didn't think that he would call out Van Jones the way he did. But I think it's necessary. Van Jones and them are complete cowards, beta males. They have no backbone, no spine, no conscious awareness of any sort. These men are feckless, completely feckless. And, and, and the weird thing is, is that they may think that about us. We have evidence they don't. They may say Republicans are, are, are racist. Where's your evidence? Where's your evidence? Because we say America is the greatest country on earth, somehow we racist. When we say that everybody has an equal opportunity for outcome, you got an opportunity at outcome. You don't have an equal outcome, but you have an equal opportunity at outcome, which means that you can work hard and get a good outcome in life. That's what, that's what we say, and somehow we racist. We say there's nothing different between a black man and a white man in the workforce if you work hard and you put in the effort and you treat people the way you want to be treated. You you add value to the to the world. But we the racist ones. It's 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 crazy. It's maddening to me. I feel like Republicans support Israel way more than Democrats do. But we are Hitler esque when they are literally perpetrating, propagating, supporting the theology of genocide against the Israeli people. When you support the freedom of Palestine and the occupation of Israel, the Israelis in Palestine, you, you, you're essentially saying that they should be pushed into the sea is what they like to refer to. From the river to the sea, they should be eliminated. Therefore, there is no more occupation. Come on, man. Like, But we but we supposed to be Nazi Germany. It's, it's, it's crazy to me. The, Nazi Germany wasn't a capitalist nation. How do we make that correlation and comparison? We believe in capitalism. They believe in communism. They begin. They believe in socialism. You know, I, I just if forever in a day, I am dejected by the things that I hear from the left, and we have to call these fools out. We can't just be passive and say, "Yeah, we don't like their rhetoric." No, call these people out for who they are. They're evil. They hate God. They hate America. They absolutely hate America. You talk to them long enough, they will admit that they hate America. They will admit that they hate God. They will, they will admit that they hate morals. It, I mean, they will admit at some point, either directly or indirectly. Just like when you talk to people that's holding a Palestinian flag, free Palestine, you, you stop them and you say, what does that mean? They, they have no idea what that means. Well, they know what it means, but they can't say it because then they'll be supporting a terrorist organization. You say, well, what does that look like? Okay, you saying they're occupying. What's going to prevent them from occupying? How are you going to eliminate the occupation of Palestine, which is not even a legitimate area? They have no idea unless they got to say that th there should be force used, and then therefore they got to acquiesce to Hamas being that force that was used, and you run into a pitfall from the, sea, from the river to the sea. What does that mean? That the Jordanian River, the Jordan River, the west side of the Jordan River is Israel. The east side of the Jordan River is Jordan. So when you say from the river to the sea, that means that from, from Jordan, which is, the, which is the eastern border of Israel, to the Mediterranean Sea, which is the ocean, which is the water, that, that, 
that's eliminating everybody in between, which is the entire state of Israel. Oh, but but we supposed to believe that that just mean what? Okay. I could talk about this all day. Shout out to Vivek Ramaswamy. I think to me he's in second place uh behind Trump. I do like the fact that he's bold, but I'm gonna be honest, like Trump is he's hard to beat. He's hard to top. The dude got so much love from from everybody in the world. It, it's just it, it, it's there's no way that anybody can come close to Trump. It ain't even close. And I like Vivek and I interviewed him, but there's no way Vivek can beat Trump ever. It's not going to happen unless Trump just quit and got out of the race. And maybe just maybe others would have a chance. I'll see you guys on the next one.